I would do anything for my children. Hopefully they see me as a rock and as an inspiration. Now that I weathered this storm, May of 2020, I was starting to have some pain in my abdomen. Progressed to the point where as soon as I would lay down in bed, the pain would emerge. And there's this huge lump right here. It just like appeared out of nowhere. My husband was sitting on the couch and I showed it to him. He said nothing. He just looked at it and he felt it and he kind of nodded. And then he disappeared. I think it was a blessing in a way that that lymph node popped up that morning. I'm an emergency room physician. I made a few phone calls to the doctors from oncology that were on call that day and asked for their advice. A few minutes later, he comes back in and he says, pack a bag, we're going to the Cleveland Clinic. Just an hour later, we walked onto the lymphoma unit and I was quickly diagnosed with stage four non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. It was earth shattering. Your whole world comes crashing down. When cancer hits, nothing else matters. You're at war, you're at battle, and you have to do whatever it takes. I always wished it was me. She's the sweetest person I know. She's the love of my life, and I really wanted it to be me. My oncologist at the time recommended RCHOP. There would be six treatments, one every three weeks. I just assumed it worked, I'm fine. About a week later, that pain emerged again. All the chemo treatment that I endured and everything my body went through, and it failed, it didn't work. The doctors recommended rice, which is a very toxic, stronger chemo. And the lymphoma was just growing out of control. The rice had failed. I was scared. Her first one failed and it was really hard. We were like, she'll get through the other one. And then the second one failed. And so um, that was really hard. That's when Dr. Hill said, we're gonna move forward with CAR T. My husband and I are looking at each other. I'm like, what's CAR T? I've never heard of CAR T. I remember thinking this is brilliant. It felt like it was outside the box thinking. This is one where I was 100% husband and zero doctor because it's out of my area of expertise. A couple weeks after I was discharged, they ran their first test and it was very encouraging. I remember the text was, the scan looks great. I was ecstatic. I think what really got all of us through it was just sticking together in our bond of family, staying positive. Whenever I think of my mom, I just think of what a mom should be. I know that she's just going to keep doing that, you know, being there for all the big moments. We've definitely grown closer through this. It's good seeing mom back on her feet again. No matter how bad it gets, don't ever give up hope. Hope is the one thing that just keeps you going. I hung on to hope, and then Cartier came.